Hey, it's me and Reese. Today I'm gonna show you the power pack what I use and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it. So the power pack I use is Critical the 2 CX1 Generation 2. So this is the best power pack in the market I, I think for myself. It's really easy to use, it's really simple and everything is just good about this power pack. This is the CX1 Generation 2. I think I had Generation 1 before and one of the plugs was moving a little bit here and, and it was start losing the connection. So I just contacted the critical one and they swapped it with no problem at all. On, on generation 2 I think they made some some little differences inside the plugs there. They just hold a lot better. So let me show you how it works. So you have two different settings on this. You have shader and liner. And if you go a little bit higher on shader it will, it will save automatically and a little bit lower in liner. So you see it's like 7.2 and 3.8 again. And my favorite one is this maintain pedal mode where you can just press it and it will be on. Shader mode. So that's how I use it. I don't have pedal extra here. If you're using pedal of course you can plug it in there and you have wire. I don't use it because I just prefer to press one button and that's about it. The other cool thing about this one is that you can cover it really easy. I just use plastic bags. It just takes you like one second to cover it all. And that's it. And after you finish the tuning you just throw this one out. Wipe it of course. Another thing I really love about this power supply, you can change this position anywhere you want, you know. Or you can like swap it like there or I don't know, like even like this, whatever. It's all like magnets there. If you're traveling for conventions and stuff, you can just take this one completely out and you have like tiny pack and you can just like leave it on the table, cover it with cling film and that's it. Super easy to use. At first I was afraid to try this one, I tried many many power packs before but then my co-worker Nick suggested me to try this one and I really didn't want to try it still and he was like come on just try this one, it's really cool I was like okay, after I tried the first time I really loved it straight away and I never really used any other packs anymore it comes with box, you can have like manual and it has like sticker inside all the wires and everything and it has two years warranty and they swap it really easy for you if you need so again you have like liner and shader option only no other options there you can like go all the way up to 17 volts and all the way down in just a few seconds to like 1.5 and it will work with all your coil machines and all the rotary machines and everything it will work really easy there's not much more information on this except the volts what you use I don't really want to know anymore I do like it because I don't really look at it that much I'm just concentrating on my tattoos. If you do want more advanced model, you can always grab this one. Bigger version of the same power pack. Everything is again really nice and simple. I think this one is the with wireless pedal connection as well and the timer and everything. And you can see it all here. A lot more info about it. If you want more information when, when you're tattooing, if you want to see more stuff, I definitely suggest this one, CX2. So yeah, once again, I will add all the information about it in the description below. You can read more about it. Like, I haven't even read the manual there. I think there's a lot more information about it if you want to really find out something else. But it is so simple that you don't really need a lot of information to use it, I think. So if there's some of you guys who really looking to get new power pack or something or have some problem with their old ones and tried many, many others before, like I did, I would definitely suggest this one. It's the simplest one, the easiest one to use, and the cleanest one and everything. If you have any questions, just let me know below. I'll try to answer them all, and see you next time.